In clinical uh, interventional cardiology, we encounter the problem that uh, interventions in small vessels uh, are a little bit challenging because the, the stents you implant there, they have uh, high rates of uh, instant restenosis and these results in these vessels are not good. And we had the impression that drug-coated balloons would be an asset in these, uh, in these uh, vessels because the results um, we, we had were quite good. And uh, because we thought um, the treatment of small vessels with drug-coated balloons would be good, we designed a trial to test drug-eluting stents against these uh, new novel devices, the drug-coated balloons. The basket small 2 trial was a, a randomized, controlled, non-inferiority trial. A non-inferiority trial tests whether one treatment is uh, similar to the other. So what we did is we used uh, one special drug-coated balloon with the best data. It's a sequent please from Bay Brown against uh, two different drug-eluting stents. Um, one stent was a Taxus element stent, a second generation Paclitaxel eluting stent to have the, the same uh, kind of active drug. And the other one was the, the best in class, a Rolimus eluting stent design stent. So we had a mixed uh, comparator group and um, we uh, enrolled patients with small vessel disease. Uh, in fact, uh, we, we included patients that were undergoing uh, PCI in vessels that were smaller than three millimeters in diameter. What we found was that uh, non-inferiority was indeed established. So we found that drug looting uh, stents and the drug coated balloons, they have the same uh, rates of uh, a clinical endpoint after one year. So the clinical endpoint was a uh, a mixture between cardiac death, non-fatal MI, and uh, target vessel revascularization. So the same results for both treatment groups and uh, the non-inferiority was established. For practice, it means that uh, interventional cardiologists, they can um, uh, actually, they can treat small vessel uh, with drug-coated balloon without having the risk that uh, these vessels they close down or the, any, any problem occurs. We have now the security that uh, small vessels can be treated with drug-coated balloons as far as we know at the moment. The most interesting thing will be what, um, what, will, what will happen in the future after two, three years because um, these uh, these balloons, they don't, uh, they don't leave any trace in the, in the vessels. When you have a stent in the vessel, uh, it can get some stent thrombosis, it can get some instant restenosis, but the balloon, there's just a, a, a natural vessel without any, any uh, implant. And so I think um, in after two or three years, after a long term of follow-up, we will have, uh, eventually we have a superiority of these drug-coated balloons uh, against the drug-eluting stents. And then, uh, we, have, uh, we will have to think uh, to, to prove uh, also in larger vessels that this, uh, this, uh, this technique is working.